Alright guys, I'm back again, and I come to you all once again with another recent pickups video here. And the reason why I'm behind the camera today is for an entirely different reason, and that is because I just got two wisdom teeth pulled two days ago, so I'm still trying to recover, and needless to say, I have a really bad case of chipmunk cheeks. My face is really swollen up, it's really bruised, and it's really red, and it just doesn't look very good. So I really don't want to show my face in front of the camera and have a whole bunch of strangers on the internet see. So, yeah, I'm going to be behind the camera for this one. And since I'm bored from just doing nothing but lay in bed and eat yogurt all day, I figured that I would actually make a quick video here about some new stuff I got. Um, over the weekend, me and my dad drove out to Game Quest and we picked up a few things. It's a mix of Atari 2600 and NES games. So I'll start off with the NES games here. Um, all of these I paid $5 each for. And these are just really cheap and common games that I just figured was about time to end the collection. So the first one we got here is Winter Games. I'm sure you all have seen the AVGN video about this one. Looks kind of crappy, but figured it was about time to add it to the collection. Um, the next one we have here is pretty interesting. I looked up gameplay footage of it. It's called Amagon. And from what I remember, um, it looks like an okay game. can't really remember what style of game it is, but it doesn't look too bad. And it's actually got a phone number on the back for Video Oasis. So if anybody who lives in the southeast Michigan area knows what Video Oasis is, please let me know because I'd be very interested. And I was also very tempted to actually call that number, but I realized that it doesn't even have an area code, so... I guess I can't try that out, but still, cool. I can get that marker off, and Amagon's a pretty decent game from what I remember, at least. This game right here, I have never heard of until I actually picked it up. It's called Phantom Fighter. I looked up some gameplay footage of this also, and it looks kind of crappy, but I won't know until I try it for myself. And this also has some marker on the back. Whoever, uh, whoever Clave Weldon is, you know, I got your NES game. If anybody knows who Clay Walden is, let, let him know that I got his game. So, yeah. I can also get that marker out no problem with some soft scrub and a old t-shirt. And another game that we have here is Rollerball. This is a um, pinball game, and it looks really good from what I've seen. I have a couple other pinball games for the NES, and this one looks pretty decent. Not that bad. And we have two more here. We have Tecmo Baseball. Just your average NES baseball game. Definitely cool. I'm a huge baseball fan, I'm sure, as you guys could probably tell from all of my Tiger stuff on the wall. Love baseball, and I love baseball video games, so figured that it was also time to add that to the collection. And the last one we have here is Rambo. Didn't have this, surprisingly, because it's a pretty common game. Finally got this to add it to the collection. I'm sure you all have seen the AVGN episode of that game also. And that's it for my NES games. Like I said, I paid $5 each for all of them. And they have their special where if you buy th um, two of them, you get one for free. So I essentially got um, two of these for free, so that was pretty good. Figured that wasn't a bad deal at all. And the um, Atari 2600 games um, are very different. Um, some of these are actually pretty rare, and I'll save the rarest one for last. I only paid 25 cents each for all of these, so I figured that that was a very good deal, especially for some of these games that are in here. First one we have here is by Spectre Vision. This is Planet Patrol. I have no idea what this is about. I've heard of the um, company Spectre Vision. I heard that they make some of the rarest Atari games, but I have no idea what this game is all about. So, there's that. We also have Journey Escape by Data Age. I have no idea what that's about. I've heard of the the game itself, but I don't know what it plays like exactly. Bermuda Triangle, also by Data Age. I have no idea what that's about either. 
Um, we have a game made by Telesis. This is called Coconuts. Sounds interesting. And we have two games here that are in that really weird and television style casing. We have Dark Cavern. Also never heard of that. And this game here I have heard of, but I heard that the um, Atari 2600 version actually controls better than the Intellivision version. This is called Frogs and Flies, but I'm going to have to try that out for myself to see which one is better. The Atari version or the Intellivision version. And this last game here is probably the rarest of them all. Um, of course, I only paid 25 cents for it, and I got home and looked up the value of it, and apparently this goes for about $50 online. And this game is called Ramit, and this is also made by Telesis. And it's kind of funny, too, because Coconuts here is also made by Telesis, and you can probably tell from the shape of the cartridge that it's pretty simple. It just has the little grippy things on the back and on the side. And this game, Ramit, is also made by Telesis. And it's got a really weird hook thing on the front and the ridges on the side and the holes in the back. It just looks completely different from Coconuts. And they're both made by the same company. So I thought that that was pretty interesting. Um, but this game itself looks pretty good. I looked up gameplay footage of it. And it looks pretty fun. I have no idea if any of these games work, by the way. Um, I haven't gotten around to cleaning them and testing them yet. Because I've just been laying in bed for the last couple days from my wisdom teeth. Um, but yeah, I'll get around to it. And yeah, $50 for an Atari game, that was a pretty good deal. Especially, like I said, I only paid a quarter for it. So, definitely not bad. And I think that that makes it the rarest Atari 2600 game that I own. So that's definitely a win for me, so that's pretty cool. And that's it. That's all of my recent pickups, guys. I hope you really enjoyed, and I really hope that I can get back to normal and uh, get back to making my normal videos again. So I hope you guys really enjoyed, and as always, guys, have a great day.